Protesters in Kiev have been gathering to show support for jailed ex-Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko, with some EU leaders calling for an international boycott of Ukraine's Euro 2012 football matches. However, opinion is divided, especially in co-host country Poland, perhaps concerned that the championships it has invested so much in is becoming dominated by a political scandal. Polish President Bronisław Komorowski said Ukraine is putting its ties with the European Union in jeopardy by keeping Mrs. Tymoshenko in prison. But the Polish government has also criticized calls from politicians for a boycott of the Ukrainian part of the soccer championship. Jewish News One spoke to European Jewish Parliament member Monika Krewczyk about the boycott. Uh, well, first of all, it's uh, always wrong to, me, to mix uh, sport with politics. These are two totally separate domains and it's probably not a good idea to have a political boycott uh, announced on, uh, on something that was connected uh, with an uh, important sport event in Europe. On general level, uh, I, I think that there is much uh, better to, to persuade people and explain what's going on rather than announce boycott. And honestly, if the politicians don't want to go to those games, let them donate the tickets to people who are less fortunate and could not afford uh, paying for that. And honestly, in the stadiums, I don't think that anybody needs them. European capitals say the seven-year prison sentence handed to Tymoshenko is politically motivated, but Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych is refusing to bow to pressure. Tymoshenko claims she was imprisoned because Yanukovych, who narrowly defeated her in the 2010 presidential election, wants to bar her from participating in October's parliamentary elections.